What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It is White Gamer. Today, we have the best center back build for level 25, level 50, level 75, and level 100. This one is for level 25. Your position, we're going to go with center back at CB. Height, start off with 6'2 once you're level 25, so you can have some pace. Your weight, we're going to go with 174 pounds. It's not too heavy or too light. Now, for your play style, for your play style plus, you're only going to have two on lock at level 25. You're going to have the slide tackle plus and the first touch plus. Go with this one, but as soon as you hit level 26, guys, listen carefully. As soon as you hit level 26, go with the long ball pass plus, guys. This one's very good. So remember, level 26, hit, use the long ball pass plus. Now, for your regular play styles, definitely recommend the power header, guys. It's going to help you score headers and increase your power and your accuracy, which that's what you want. The next one we're going to go with is anticipate. This is going to improve the chances of you winning your standing tackles. And when you make the standing tackle, the ball is going to stay right in front of your feet. And then last but not least, guys, definitely recommend aerial. It's going to allow for your pro to jump even higher and have more physical presence when you're going for the jump. So these are the play style plus and the play styles for level 25. Now, for the running style, the one I recommend and the one I personally use is the medalist. You can also use the buzz or the dasher. Guys, all up to you. We're going to go with the medalist because that's the one I use. Now we have the skill tree for level 25. You're only going to have 43 skill points. So we're going to get these two acceleration and these two sprint speed. Now, even though the pace is low, guys, if you know how to position yourself as a CB, you should be fine. If you struggle to position yourself, we're going to just go like this because there's also other important things to worry about. And then we're going to get some ball control. You do want to have some ball control. And at the same time, it'll boost the balance up a little bit as center back. You don't want your pro to be taking bad touches in the back because it can lead to a goal and whatnot now we have the defending your job is to defend of course so we're gonna get it just like this it'll just give you 86 interceptions 89 defensive awareness 89 defensive awareness is the most important thing from all these stats because that's going to determine how accurate the standing tackle the interceptions the slide tackle comes out then you have 90 standing tackle remember you also have the anticipate play style that's going to help out with those standing tackles as well and then 88 slide tackle this is how you want your defending now for physical, we're going to get some aggression and then some jumping just like this. So this will give you 88 jumping. So you should be able to out jump 99% of your opponent. You have 82 stamina, 86 strength. That's more than enough for now to outbody your opponent. Most of the opponent you come up against aren't going to be even that strong. Then you have 83 reactions with 87 aggression. And we back out. You're going to be an 85 rated center back. You're going to have 78 pace. The shooting doesn't matter. Passing 72, that's more than enough for now. Dribbling really doesn't matter unless you really care about the agility. So what really matters is the balance and the ball control from the dribbling. Then you have 88 defending, which that's important, and 85 physical. This was for level 25. Now we have level 50 center back. Your position is going to be CV. Height, we're going to go with 6'3". Your weight, we're going to go with 174 pounds. Now for your play style plus, again, at level 50, you're going to have a Bruiser plus unlocked. But don't go with it. The regular version works just fine. We're going to go with the long ball pass plus, guys. This one's very good to find your teammates that are far. Because sometimes your teammates nearby are going to be covered. So you might have to X or square ball and find your teammates that are far out. So definitely recommend this. Then for your regular play style, we're going to go with power header to increase the heading accuracy and the power. We're going to go with anticipate to improve your chances of winning your standing tackles. And the ball will stay right in front of your feet. We're going to go with the Brewster when you're going... To uh, body your opponent, it's going to come out with more physical. And when you make standing tackles, it's going to come more come out with more physicality. And then we're going to go with quick step. This is going to allow for your pro to accelerate quicker. And then last but not least, we're going to go with aerial. This will allow your pro to jump even higher than what you can jump already. And you will have more aerial physical presence, which means as you're going up, sometimes your pro will out body your opponent, which is really good. So these are the play styles that you want and play style plus that you want for level 50. For the running style, the one that I use at center back is Metalist. I think this one is very good. You can also try out the Buzz or the Dasher. This one I used it last year, but I'll use the Metalist, guys. All up to you which running style you want to use. Now we have level 50 skill tree. You're going to have 79 skill points. So we're going to get these three acceleration. You're going to fill up the entire sprint speed just like this. So give you 72 acceleration and 87 sprint speed. You're going to be able to catch up to most of your opponent, guys. Trust me. As, as long as you're not like completely out of position, You'll catch up to your opponents because this year playing CB is pretty overpowered when it comes to catching up to your opponent. Now, for the dribbling, we're going to get the ball control, then balance again. So make sure it says two out of two, guys. This will boost your balance 
and your ball control as a CB. You don't want to be falling too easily on the ground when you're being challenged by other center backs or other players. And the ball control is important, guys, because you don't want your pro to be taking horrible ball control in the back because that could lead to a goal and whatnot. So this is how you want your dribbling to look like. Now, for the defending, you're going to get your first archetype. We're going to get the guardian archetype, and then you're going to get these three right here. This will give you 91 interceptions, which is very, very good, guys. And then 95 defensive awareness. That's going to determine how accurate the standing tackle comes out, your slide tackle. When you're intercepting the ball, your pro will lock onto it. So the defensive awareness is very important. Then you have 92 standing tackle. You should be able to win every standing tackle as long as you're timing it perfectly. And then 87 slide tackle. That's more than enough. Now, for physical, we're going to get aggression. We're going to get jumping. And then you're going to get the acrobat archetype. So this will give you 92 jumping, guys. And you have the aerial play style. So your pro is going to be winning 99% of the headers. You should be. Stamina, that's more than enough. 87 strength is very good. So you can outbody your opponents or other defenders. You have 82 reactions. A reaction does matter as a CB. This is good for now. We'll upgrade the reaction later on. And you have 88 aggression. So when you're outbodying your opponent, you're going for standing tackles. It's going to come out more aggressive. If we back out, look at the overall build. You're going to be an 87 CB with 80 pace, 71 passing. The dribbling doesn't matter besides the balance and ball control. For some people, the agility matters. Then you have 92 defending with 87 physical. This was level 50 CB built. Now we have level 75 CB built. Your position, again, center back. Height, we're going to go with 6'4". Your weight, we're going to go with 174 pounds. It's not too heavy or too light. Now, for your playstyle plus, guys, at level 75, you're going to have everything unlocked for your playstyle plus. The first one I definitely recommend, guys, is the aerial plus. You're going to be winning so many headers or, or aerial threats in the air. This one's very good. Not only will it allow your pro to jump even higher, but as you're jumping up, sometimes your pro will outbody your opponent, which is really good. Now, the second one, guys, it's all up to you and how you play center back. The Anticipate Plus, a lot of center backs use it. It's an improved chance of you making a standing tackle and winning it. And when you do win it, the ball will be right in front of your feet. So the ball's not going to be bouncing around or nothing like that. Another good one is the Block Plus. I personally use the Block Plus on my center back belt. Super noticeable, guys. Your pro would extend his leg out, his or her legs out, and make the block. So all up to you. We're going to go with Anticipate Plus because I think a lot of people are going to like this. But again, guys, the Block Plus is also a very good play style. Now, for your regular one, we're going to go with a power header. It's going to give you way more accuracy and power on headers. The next one is the long ball pass, guys. Sometimes your teammates nearby are going to be covered. So you need to find your wingers or whoever is far up in the pitch. This one's a very good play style. The next one I recommend is the block. The next one we're going to go with is the bruiser. When you're making standing tackles, it's going to come out with way more physicality and it's super, super noticeable. The two last one is quick step which will allow your pro to accelerate quicker when you're uh, tracking back to your opponent or tracking back to your position. And then last but not least, we're going to go with the intercept, guys. Go with the intercept. Just allow for your pro to intercept the ball much easier and it'll lock you onto the balls. So these were the play styles and play style plus for level 75. For the running style, the one I've been recommending and the one that I personally use is the medalist, guys. This one is very, very good. You can also try out the buzz or the dasher. All up to you. I used the dasher last year and it was good. But I personally like the medalist. So all up to you for the running style. But I highly recommend the medalist. Now we have the skill tree for level 75. You're going to have 117 skill points. So let's get these through acceleration. And then you're going to get the cheetah archetype. So this will give you 78 acceleration and 93 sprint speed. The main reason, guys, we focus on the sprint speed is because your acceleration is going to be very good. Since you're a CB, you're going to be lengthy which means on the long distance, you're going to be able to catch up to your opponent. So that's why we focus on the sprint speed and just a little bit on the acceleration. Now, for dribbling, we're going to get ball control, then balance, guys. You do want to have some balance and some ball control as a CB. You don't want to be falling too easily when you're getting challenged by other center backs or even strong strikers. So definitely get some balance. And then the ball control, you do not want to be taking horrible ball control in the back line or else it's going to lead to a shot or even a goal. Now, for the defending, guys, you're going to get the Guardian. You're going to get everything filled out besides the slide tackle, guys. 93 slide tackle is more than enough. You're not even going to notice the plus four. You really aren't, guys. Then you have 95 standing tackle. On top of that, you have the Anticipate Plus or the regular version, whichever play style plus you ended up going with. Then you have 98 defensive awareness, guys. Defensive awareness will allow you to perform standing tackles, 
blocks, much better, even interception. And then you have 94 interceptions. Of course, you also have that play style, which is going to make you a beast defending, guys. Last but not least, we got the physical. We're going to get aggression, aggression. We're going to get this reaction because it will give you plus three reaction and then it'll boost your strength a little bit. And then for this right side, we're going to get the jumping, jumping, jumping. So this will give you 94 jumping, 90 strength, 85 reaction, and 91 aggression. You should be able to bully and outbody any opponent that comes towards you. If we back out, boys and girls, you're going to be at 90 rated CB. You have 86 pace, which is very good. 71 passing, guys, that's decent. Dribbling doesn't really matter besides the balance, ball control. Some people care about the agility. You have 95 defending and then 89 physical. This was level 75 CB built. Everyone, now we have level 100 center back built. Again, you're going to go with CBS CB. Your height, we're going to go with 6 Four. This will give you the lengthy accelerate type. Again, you can also use this in old gen and new gen. Height, we're going with 174 pounds for your playstyle. Plus, of course, at level 75, you will have all on lock, even level 100. The first one I definitely recommend is the Aerial Plus, guys. This is one of the best, top three, easily best playstyle plus to use this year as a defender. This allows allow for you to put a jump higher than normal. And as you're going up, sometimes your pro will outbody your opponent, which is good because then they'll give you the free header to win. Now, the second one is all how you place center back. A lot of CBs use Anticipate Plus. This one's very good because the standing tackle is going to be way more precise. And when you're making the standing tackle, the ball is going to stop right in front of you, which is good. I personally use the Block Plus. It's going to allow for your pro to reach out or extend the leg even more. And it's super obvious. But for the purpose of this video, and I think most people, most people will enjoy the Anticipate Plus. But again, I, I use Block Plus. Now, for the regular play style, definitely recommend the power header, guys. Not only will it give it more power on your headers, but it will also give it accuracy, which that's what you want, to be able to score headers or even to pass it uh, with your head. Next one is a long ball pass. Any balls that you do in the air are going to come out with accuracy and power, guys. This one's very good. I personally use this one, and I think it's very good from the passing one as a CB. The next one we're going to go with is the block. If you didn't go with the block plus, go with the regular one. The regular one is good too, but you can definitely notice the difference between this one and the plus version. Next one, intercept. It's going to allow for your pro to intercept the ball and it'll lock you on sometimes when you're not paying attention. It'll just lock you on. The next one we're going to go with is, is the Bruiser. When you're going for standing tackles, it's going to come up with much, much more strength and is very, very noticeable. Then last but not least, we're going to go with Quick Step. It's going to allow for your pro to accelerate quicker when you're off the ball. So if you need to track down your opponent, or get back to your position. This one's very good for that. So these are the play styles and play styles plus that we went for level 100. Now, for the running style, the one that I use and the one that I've been recommending the entire video is a medalist. This one's very, very good. You can also use the buzz or the dasher. I use the dasher in FIFA 23 and it was good. Either of those three guys are good. I recommend the medalist because that's the one I use at CB and I think it's the best one in my opinion. I think it's the best one in my opinion. So now we have the skill tree for level 100. You're going to have 160 skill points. So max out your pace, guys. Um, I don't have my pace maxed out on my actual CB build. But if you're an experienced CB and you know how to position yourself, you can get away with not playing with max pace. But for the most of you guys, just max out your pace. This will give you 82 acceleration, 93 sprint speed, and you'll be lengthy, which means you'll be able to catch up to your opponent on the long distance. And this should be more than enough. Now, for the heading accuracy, guys, we're going to go with these two. A lot of people underestimate that heading accuracy as a CB. Not only do you need that heading accuracy to score headers, but to pass it to your teammates, guys. Then for passing, guys, we're going to focus on these two, short passing and vision. That's it, guys. Even though the long pass is 71, guys, that'll be more than enough for you to do X or square ball. And, guys, you have the, the long pass play style. It'll be more than enough. This passing is, is decent, guys. And then for dribbling, guys, we're going to go with these two agility. And then we're going to go with ball control and then balance. So this will give you 64 agility. For some of you guys, because I know some of you guys do care about your agility, that's just going to determine how quickly your pro turns when you're jockeying. Um, I personally don't play with agility, but I'm doing this for the general people. Go with agility. And then, of course, balance and ball control. I think it's very underrated as a CB. You want to have some good balance, guys. You don't want your pro to be falling too easily when you have the ball or when you're shielding the ball. And then the ball control, I've been saying it throughout the entire video. You do not want to be taking bad touches in the back. You want your pro to make, be able to stop the ball 
and then pass it or clear it out. If you have b bad ball control, your pro is going to be just losing it and it's going to lead to a goal. And then for the defending, guys, we're going to go with the guardian archetype. You're going to get everything filled out besides the middle. 93 slide tackle is more than enough, guys. You're not going to notice a difference. You really aren't. 93 is really good. You have 95 standing tackle. Remember, you also have the anticipate plus. So when you're making those standing tackles, they're going to be very precise and they're going to stay right in front of your foot. And you have 98 defensive awareness, guys. That's just going to allow for your interceptions, your standing tackles, your slide tackle to come out much, much better. Then, of course, you have the 94 interceptions, which is excellent. And then last but not least, guys, we got physical. Get everything filled out, boys and girls. Get the aggression. Get the bull archetype. Make sure you get your reactions, guys. Get the reactions. Make sure this hit two out of two. For this right side, get the acrobat archetype. Get the jumping. Again, get your reactions, guys. As a CB, reactions is important. It's going to allow for your pro to react quicker when you're making standing tackles, when you're about to receive the ball. So you do want to have some reaction. Then you have 98 aggression, guys. That's going to determine how aggressive your guy is when you're making standing tackles, when you're out bodying someone, when you're out shielding someone. Then you have 89 stamina. That's enough. And then you have 97 jumping, guys. You're 6'4". You have 97 jumping. And you have the aerial plus if you went with it. You should be winning most, like, 95 to 99% of your headers, guys. Then you have, of course, 95 strength. Most of the opponents you're going to come up with aren't going to be that strong, so that will be more than enough. Boys and girls, if you back out, you're going to be a 93-rated CB with 88 pace. You're going to have 88 heading accuracy. The passing, that's more than enough. Now, from the dribbling, agility will matter for some of you guys, but I don't think agility matters that much. But for some of you guys, it will matter. But I think what really matters from the dribbling is the ball control and the balance. And then, of course, the 95 defending with a 94 physical. This was level 100, best CB belt. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.